you for joining me with the DH headline. The last episode, I told about three of the most important stuff of time in your favor. There were quite a few more, but most of those were short lived and less confusing commercial success. This week, I will tell about the recommended story of the first commercial offshore radio station. Offshore radio to circumvent national jurisdiction started in Germany. The first commercial initiative was as early as 1931. It's famous as the later initiative for ships and former military islands, and it did not operate from sea but from a different country. The station was an initiative of British former army captain and conservative politician Leonard Bruce, who was of Belgian descent and was probably originally pronounced Snipper. Bruce was an extensive radio enthusiast. Centrals of radio stations such as the Chile Holidays and the European continent. Those should be the key for publication in the Radio Times magazine and other magazines like the Wild News. And one such journey seems on a cafe owner at the Cafe Colon, located in the coastal village of the Sultan, Normandy, what there was to see at the time. He was told that a young member of the Lagrange family, which owned